Okay, F1, the class is front choke and side sweep. Great double attack. The important uh, movements that we have to get down is a very solid hip out. If they don't have a good hip out, it's going to be difficult to make this technique work. So here I go. Then Chi was in my guard. First thing, when I don't know what to do here, I always like to get a grip. First hand, bop deep into the collar, as deep as I, nice and deep so I can get a good grip and it's kind of reaching behind me. I hold right here. This controls his posture and control the person. My other hand usually holds his arm. Now, if he doesn't mark this arm, my hand can always threaten the front choke. So this is half of the choke. You have to feed. You hold the lapel, stick it in. Right hand comes in, palm up underneath. I reach so my hands are almost touching behind. I turn so it's the knife edge of my wrists that are pulling in on his neck. One, two, my head goes on the side of the arm that's on top, nice and close, and I make him tap. Okay? The other option is going to be my right hand. I'm going to change my angle using my legs. So my leg, one goes low, the other goes high, and I bump. This hand can grab right here. It's always stronger if you can get the thumb in, and then the choke is going to be right here. Okay? What's going to happen is I'm going to be here with my first hand, and he's going to put his hand on my bicep. So I can't choke. Now, I hold his sleeve. Left foot goes on the floor. This is where they have to know the hip out. The farther I can hip out, the better. So I hip out, boom, very far. You don't poke in, see? So I, I hip out here. Ideally, look, my left shin is across his stomach, making a hook with my foot. It's not high like this. It's pointed that way so that I'm pulling with my quads and pushing back with my hamstrings. Not like this with my adductor. So I hold right here. My right leg is extended. The Achilles at his knee. Left shin across his stomach. I hold right here. The strength of this sweep comes from me pulling with my whole body. So I get close, lock with my arms, pull him forward, and scissor with the feet. Boom. I come on top, control my space. Now I can slide this arm around, get that same grip, head on the floor. Up, and I finish. Once again, the important thing to have them do is a lot of setups. So I grab here. If my partner doesn't put his hand on my bicep, I choke him. Up, oh, he stopped me. Grab, foot close, hip out as far as I can. There's my setup. Hand go back. This is what they need to do a lot more times than sweeping so they don't waste their time. Boom, hand back. Boom, hand back. Boom. Now I'm going to go for the sweep. Pull. Remember, I got to get him forward. He's too far back for me to sweep real effectively yet. Pull. Scissor. On top. Stabilize my position. Hand goes in. And choke. The last variation, which we might get time to work with, but you're going to have to use your discrepancy, is I'm right here. I'm all set up. Uh, same thing. Here I am. What happens here is that the guy reaches this hand between my legs to pass. When he does this, he lifts this leg up. He's trying to lift my leg up to his shoulder, and then he can start thinking about passing. What's going to happen is as he, he lifts this leg to get the leverage, I'm going to move out a little bit. My left leg circles around and hooks right here. And if his arm's still in the middle, there we go. I pull forward. You've got to play with the exact angle of your hips to be strong here. Sometimes here I can't lift the guy. But if I move, pull him forward a little, I teeter him right there, and that's going to make him fall. So here I am, pull forward a little, teeter. Sometimes if he plants his hand on the floor, bop, my hand comes under, scoops, either like that, or I come right here with my armpit, pull it in there, and I sweep, and I get on top. This starts people learning how to use their hooks. Most important is they know how to do the hip out, and that's the technique for the week. Thank you very much.